to be ready. You, me, the others. There's an attack coming from far away. Not coming, Bruce. It's already here. The others, where are they? Arthur Curry, the Aquaman. It's on him. Organic and biomechatronic body parts. He's a cyborg. You should probably move. Barry Allen. Whoever you're looking for, it's not me. He's a Batman. They said the age of heroes would never come again. It has to. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. My turn. Come together. see you playing well with others again. Just like a bat. I dig it. Maybe temporary. Watching every feature film that stars a certain King Crusader. Batman! Batman! Yes, of course, I'm watching the cartoon in all three Lego movies. Batman! Batman! Sing it with me. Batman! Batman! This is Big Screen! Oh, oops. Oh, Batman. There is a geek mentality episode from originally when I saw Justice League, when I walked out of the theater, hit record, and started talking about it. And I didn't go back and listen to it for um, last night's viewing. Last night, I watched for the first time since being in the theater the original Justice League movie. I wanted to see it one more time before next week's four-hour extravaganza, and so I did. And I remember when I left the theater thinking, not bad. I kind of liked it. I kind of enjoyed it. These are the things I enjoyed about it. I remember being positive about it, being like, wait a second, I think I like this. And then as time went on, I'm thinking, um, you know, it really wasn't that great. Um, didn't get great reviews. Zack Snyder, uh, you know, thinks he can do better, thinks he has a better version, and we're going to see what he thinks is a better version a, a week from yesterday. Um, so, okay, I was like, well, you know what? Do I even want to watch this again? I did. I watched it again. And there were still things that I enjoyed in it. There were things that felt a little clunky, things that, like, I'm almost at this point going, this isn't going to be there. 
this isn't going to be there. They're going to cut this out. They're going to change this. They're going to add more here. This is me guessing while I'm going. Um, but most of the Batman stuff, Bruce Wayne, Ben Affleck, I liked. The um, Flash stuff, there just wasn't enough. But I thought everything Ezra Miller did, I enjoyed, made it fun. The Cyborg stuff, I even, I didn't, like, I, I always want to say he's the weakest for me because he's the one, A, I know the least about. Um, but it was still wasn't terrible. And I know this actor has been, like, really vocal about how much he hates Joss Whedon and doesn't like the, the Warner Brothers people. and But he seems to be supporting Zack Snyder. And... Um, he had, a, he had an interesting way of talking where everything was like, he was very subtle like this. No, we did get a booyah, but I, I almost think I like the, well, I know I like the Doom Patrol version of Cyborg better, but um, we had Aquaman, who, again, is fun. Uh, he had more fun in the Aquaman movie. The plot, I think, was the, like, wait, what's a mother box? And who's Steppenwolf? And the villain... The CGI wasn't great. The voice was okay. Some of the fighting was okay. Like, all of a sudden, these monsters started showing up. They they tried to make sense of it. All These monsters had three squares, and the three squares are the three boxes, and you put them together. Apparently, I don't know enough about the DC mythos of things. Like, I know Darkseid. Mostly, just I know the character, and I know some of it from the comics, some of it from Smallville, to be honest with you. And not... Uh, not enough not enough uh and steppenwolf i have to be honest i don't know at all i didn't know at all uh but there was a scene of him in the long version of batman vs superman which again i still stand by as an enjoyable movie um there but some of it was like what what's going on here and it just kind of very quickly they're like well, i got this box and i got this box and it almost felt rushed which it was a two hour movie, but it still felt rushed putting all these people together that didn't have their own movie. So you didn't know them yet. I mean, you knew uh, Wonder Woman. And of course, her talking about the loss of Steve Trevor. She's like, I lost him once. I'm like, well, technically you lost him twice when he possessed that man and you used that man's body in 1984. But we'll, I guess we'll ignore that. Um, but, and the Aquaman are underwater and they talk differently. And I don't know. I don't know. I want to watch, I want to rewatch Aquaman too. But, uh, yeah, the, the, the main thing for me is even though this is a Batman centric podcast, the main thing for me in this movie was there wasn't enough Superman. And they were just like, Hey, I think we could bring ba uh, Superman back to life with this box. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. If we like stick him in some goo, in the oh, it's, I guess it's the regeneration goo from um, that not the one Austin Powers used, but the one that that Lex Luthor used in the uh, original uh, BVR, BVS Don O Justice. I guess you could use that with a spark of the Flash and the and the Mother Box and Superman's back, and he doesn't know what's going on. Okay, I, I'm with you there. And then they bring in Lois Lane. He goes, flies back to Smallville. He kind of remembers that. And then five minutes later, he completely remembers everything, sees Ma Kent, and now he's Superman, or he comes back as Superman. And that was like with half hour left. Not enough Superman. Too quick on him coming back. To, um, to the Henry Cavill's lip. I never want to see that again. Um, the anything that was felt overly jokey, I almost felt like, is that Joss sticking that in? It's not that I dislike seeing them jokey. It's that I felt like this was Joss being like, we got to have fun. We got to be jokey. We got to be Marvel, which they're not. And then they can't be. Well, they, I shouldn't say they can't be, but it's like that ship has sailed. Yet, how do you take what we saw as a two hour movie and now it's literally double? You might as well say this is Justice League 1 and Justice League 2. Um, Oh, the, the whole thing with the Flash and Superman racing at the end. I think we had the Henry Cavill lip. So again, I'm calling that Joss Whedon scene. Uh, you know, fan service, sure, but n unnecessary. Uh, so I don't think that's going to be there. The after scene, I mean, that was kind of cool because we had, was it Dead, Dead, not Deadpool. You know, the guy from Smallville and he was in, not, yeah, was he in Smallville? He was in Arrow, he's in... 
um, Titans. I don't know why I can never. Uh, Deathstroke. We had Deathstroke with Joe Matalialia, whatever his last name is. Um, and we had uh, Lex Luthor. And he's like, why can't we have a league of our own? And I thought that was kind of cool, setting things up for nothing, apparently, because I'm, I'm assuming this is, unless this does gangbusters, gangbusters, what am I in this, in the 1940s? Unless this does gangbusters, kids, on the old telly, um, I can't imagine... I, I just don't know what's going to happen after this. Is this a one and done? Are we are we getting a new Superman movie with a new Superman? Are we getting a Michael B. Jordan Superman? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm here for whatever happens. Um, yeah, that's I, I can't really talk too much about this because I, I'm going to be talking about this same movie. But am I talking about the same movie, or am I talking about? Um, I, I feel like it's going to be a completely different movie that they kind of cut up and turned into what we saw as a justice league it's like oh you saw the half hour pilot for the two hour movie like in this time it's like you saw the two hour pilot of the four hour movie oh okay like that was a preview it was a very long trailer for years in advance for what we're going to get next thursday and i am excited but we're not done i still have a couple movies that i'm one definitely has batman in it one kind of has batman in it so i'm watching them both before next thursday um and that's it. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I liked it. I liked things about it still. I saw the flaws. And I am, I'm very willing to forgive things, though. Especially when it has to do with Batman and Superman. Um, but yeah, that's it. I wanted to just mention that really quick. I'm, I'm on my lunch break, so I thought, you know what? Now's the time to record. Because um, I also have a March and McFly to do later. Which you know about, because it's all in the same feed. Uh, so that's it. Thank you so much for listening and, subs- and subscribing. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Geek Mentality. The Facebook page is Fans Not Experts. The website is fansnotexperts.com slash Batman. And um, if you don't listen to Marty McFly, I'll see you a couple more times before the big day next Thursday. I have the day off. I'm putting my dog in daycare. My wife's going to be working. I'm going to... Um, Make a little breakfast, probably watch Back to the Future really early, stay off of Twitter, and then boom, watch my Justice League. And until then, my friends, here, I'm at lunch, I don't want to be too loud because, well, you know, who cares? Here is my theme song. This is my podcast, I made it. Geek Mentality is what I named it. And I think you should listen and subscribe. Cause I'm kind of funny and awesome I think that I'm worth your time And I'm kind of handsome My mom says Please listen and Please subscribe At least listen to this episode That's not expert